Question 2 of our thermal class test 2. In question 2, this is a CIE paper question. Um, you are told that the heat capacities of some solids at temperatures close to 0 Kelvin, they are given by this equation, which is of the form C equals to AT to the power of 3, where T is the temperature and A is a constant that's characteristic of the solid. You are also told that if heat is supplied to at a steady rate, okay, which one of the following graphs best represents the variation of temperature T with time T? Now, we do not have an exact relationship so far between T temperature and time. So what sometimes we can do if you look at the shape of the graphs is that you can notice that for the options given, the slopes are all different. So one way what we can do is try and look at the gradient of the graph. Okay, and see how it possibly could change with time. Now in the question, how to do the question, we can actually pick up clues at, as, as to how to solve the question because you are told that heat is supplied at a constant rate. This means that dq dt itself is actually a constant. So from the question, simply what we therefore need perhaps to do is to look for some relationship between q um, the heat capacity, the temperature T, and the time itself. So we know that, that the heat supplied is actually used for increasing the temperature. Okay, And therefore, we also know that um, in general, the heat supplied Q can be given by the heat capacity times the change in temperature. Okay, so if you supply a small amount of heat, it will cause a small change in the temperature. Um, we can further write that down. So since we want to actually look at the gradient dt dt, so maybe we can differentiate and we can consider a very small time interval. All right, and we can actually have this particular relationship. Now we know that c is equals to a t to the power of q3. So I would actually substitute it here. Okay, so we know that this is going to be a constant, all right, given in the question. And you are also know, told that A is actually a constant. And what we want to particularly examine is actually the gradient. So let us make the gradient the subject of our formula. Makes it easier for analysis. So rearranging the equation, we can see that... Um, the rate of change of temperature with respect to time can be written as 1 over a t to the power of 3 then um, dq dt, which is a constant. So we see that the gradient itself is actually proportional to 1 over t cubed. And this allows us to actually analyze the relationship. Now, there are a few key features that we want to actually analyze. And it's like for our curve plotting in mathematics, we may first want to first look at what happens as the temperature tends towards zero. So as the temperature tends towards zero, we see that um, this relationship will tell us that this the rate of change of temperature with respect to time would tend to infinity. So if I plot on a particular curve of temperature versus time, I should be expecting a gradient that is going towards infinity when it's very close to zero. We can also next look at what happens when T, the temperature tends to infinitely large. So as my temperature grows, and it tends towards infinitely large. In the limits, we can see that the denominator, as it tends to infinity, 1 over t to the power of 3 would tend towards 0. So what it means that the gradient eventually should taper off to 0. We would also like to know how the gradient actually changes. So you can actually see, as t actually increases, the gradient of the graph logically should decrease 
And so what we are looking for is starting from a gradient of infinity and it should start actually decreasing and asymptotically reaches zero. So it's not a constant gradient graph. So from here, we can see that A is not an option. D is also not an option because the gradient actually increases. E is not an option and the choice is actually between B and C. But we've analyzed earlier that what we want is actually at close to zero, the gradient to tend towards infinity. So um, C is the best option. So C is the answer.